Hi, this is Adrian Laurie, and uh, in this video I'm going to tell you how to do a journaling exercise called sentence completion. Okay? Now, this is an exercise that was developed by a psychotherapist named Nathaniel Brandon. He was also an author. He wrote a lot of books about self-esteem. And the exercise is very powerful, and here's how it works. Uh, you're going to write the, the name of a problem that you're having, uh, on the top of a piece of paper in your journal, okay? Whatever that problem is, you know, difficulties with wife, uh, dissatisfaction at my job, whatever problem you've been struggling with, you write that on the top of the page. And now you're going to write this incomplete sentence, okay? It goes like this. Bringing more awareness to this problem might mean... Okay? You're just going to write that down. Bringing more awareness to this problem might mean. And now, the next step is, you're going to write out six to ten endings for that sentence. Six to ten completions of that incomplete sentence. Okay? And you're going to go quickly. You're not going to stop to think. Okay? So this is not a thinking exercise. This is more like a kind of brainstorm exercise. So you don't want to sit there reflecting about it. You want to just pump out endings. And if nothing is kind of flowing out of you, you want to just make something up. Okay? doesn't need to make sense. We're not looking to have brilliant endings here, super insightful stuff. You know, it can be simple. It can be mundane. It can be stupid. It can even, like, not make much sense to you, although it should make a real sentence, not just random words, but something that makes a sentence. So now let me give you a, a kind of example. If I was doing a, a, a sentence completion, and let's say the sentence stem, the incomplete sentence that I was working with was when I look out the window. So I write when I look out the window at the top of my page. Then I might write out a bunch of endings that might go like this. When I look out the window, right? I see the light, okay? I see shrubs. I wonder what the temperature is outside. People that I remember from my past come into my mind. I get hungry for bananas. I want to go to the movies. Okay, so you see, I'm just pumping things out. Some of those maybe didn't make so much sense. I don't know what they mean, right? And it doesn't really matter, okay? In this exercise, in a way, the endings that pop out of you, and you want to allow yourself to be surprised by what pops out. That's one of the reasons it's important to get into a flow. But the endings themselves are not that important. The process is the powerful thing, and especially if you do it repeatedly. And so my recommendation is going to be to do this exercise once a day for five days in a row. Okay? But I've given you one stem, and now I'm going to give you two more to do in the same way. So the next stem is going to be being more self-accepting with respect to this problem might mean... Okay, that's the second stem. I'm going to put all these directions down in the description, by the way. And the third stem is taking more responsibility for solving this problem might mean. Okay? So just those three stems, you write out six to ten endings for each of them. Uh, of course, you got to write the name of your problem at the top of the page. And you do it once a day, five days in a row, and watch what happens. This is one of the more consistently powerful exercises if I give to clients and they do it, it's real powerful. When you do it repeatedly, um, it does something. It's going to get, basically, your unconscious mind working in certain ways when you're not doing the exercise. It's very much like crossword puzzles. People who do crossword puzzles, I don't do them myself, but I've talked to crossword puzzle people. And it's a very common phenomenon that the work of the crossword puzzle, there will be certain things that, they, that they're not able to get, but they kind of struggle for it. And then at a certain point, they put it down, forget about it, go about the rest of their day, go to sleep, wake up in the morning, go back to the puzzle, and bang, they got all the answers that they weren't able to get yesterday. It's a very common experience among crossword puzzle people, right? Well, what does that mean? It means the unconscious mind apparently was doing some work and when the person wasn't thinking about it. And so sentence completion allows you to start to generate energy in certain ways 
by doing this exercise. Okay. Now, I've just given you three sentence stems. These are very similar to cer cer certain types of stems that Nathaniel Brandon used, but Brandon came up with hundreds of these stems, and they appear in his books, so that if this exercise is of interest to you, I would recommend a self-help book that he wrote that was really a about the sentence completion method and had dozens and dozens of these exercises in it called The Art of Self-Discovery, okay, which I'll put a link to in the description. All right, so this has been a video about the sentence completion journaling exercise. Uh, have a good time with it, and uh, we'll be back with more soon. Yet another journaling exercise for you in my next video. Okay, bye-bye.